Well, hi. Welcome. Please let me tell you what I'm doing here and why I, who have never been accused of being the slightest bit athletic and have never, certainly ever, thought of myself as any kind of fitness expert, have decided to make this video. See, these days, more and more people keep asking me how I have managed to maintain myself. So, I guess it turns out that I'm holding up pretty well over the long haul. The fact is, in a town like Hollywood, where everybody on the street is gorgeous, it's just good business to look the best you can. But it's every bit as important for me to feel good on the inside, to be able to remain as calm and relaxed as possible in the face of the pressures and anxieties that we encounter every day. But see, I have never loved to exercise. I don't like running, hopping, stepping, jogging, jumping up and down in one place. My idea of an ideal outdoor activity is lying down under a shade tree with a good book and a cool libation. As Mark Twain said, whenever the urge to exercise comes over me, I lie down until it passes away. On the other hand, I do want to look good. And I do not want to wind up with osteoporosis, which unfortunately runs in my family. So, in addition to a few good old-fashioned walks every week, I have distilled a simple, efficient, and actually enjoyable way to keep myself flexible and toned, more or less. <laughs> Besides the physical aspect, this routine helps to give me peace of mind and food for the soul. And I am sure we are all happy for any help we can get in that direction. So why don't you watch this tape through to the end once now? And when you do join in, don't worry too much about technique. The secret is in the breathing. In fact, this is really a series of breathing and stretching exercises based on the ancient tradition of yoga. If these postures are new to you, don't be surprised or discouraged if you find they're not as easy as they look. Some may feel natural and comfortable right from the beginning, and some may feel downright strange or even unpleasant to start with. So, of course, those are usually the ones that we really need the most. So let's try to welcome these new sensations, thinking of them, if we can, as sensations rather than pain. But do not kill yourself. Keep this in mind. The idea is to make these movements smooth and fluid, rather than jerky or strained. No huffing and puffing or grunting and groaning. If it really hurts, or if you can't breathe freely, well then, you've gone too far. What you want is to feel a sense of ease and poise in your body, kind of like you were smiling on the inside. Strong sensations are terrific, but pain is not, I repeat, Pain is not what we are after, so if you have any orthopedic problems, you must please consult your doctor before you begin. Now, let's start slowly. And remember, you don't have to be a master to enjoy the benefits. You do, however, have to do it. Every day would be perfect. Every other day, no less than three times a week. And if you're really pressed for time and you can't make it through the whole routine, well, just do as much as you can. Gentle, consistent practice can work wonders, as our grandmothers have told us. Mornings are the best for me, but any time of the day is really fine. I usually have a little juice or tea, maybe a spoonful of oatmeal, not much to eat, though. You're going to be sorry if you do this on a full stomach. You can wear just anything that you want that will let you move freely. You don't want to have anything too tight around your waist. You want to be able to breathe fully and deeply and nothing on your feet, so you can really feel the earth underneath you, or in this case, of course, the carpet. I like to wear something loose so I can feel the air on my skin. If your feet are cold or subject to cramps, you can start with your socks on. An open, airy space is ideal for this routine, with the windows open if the weather is nice. You don't have to have carpeting on the floor, you could use an exercise mat to lie down on so you don't bruise your bones and a little towel for your face. Oh, you all, I'm so excited to share these simple breathings and movements with you because I truly believe that with practice, they will enhance the quality of your life as they have mine. 
Not only will you look and feel younger and healthier, have more energy and a clearer mind, but you also have a chance to discover and nurture yourself in a very loving and intimate way. You will begin to reconnect with your own inner source, to replenish yourself at the deepest level, or, as my husband would say, to let the well fill up. This is such a precious and vital skill for those of us who try so hard to take care of those we love, but often forget to take care of ourselves. Does that ring any bells? So, well, now, I would like to cordially invite you to get a little bit better acquainted with someone very, very special. You. Are you ready? Sit on the floor in a comfortable, I hope, comfortable cross-legged position like this. Or if this isn't comfortable, you could sit like this. Or if neither of these are comfortable, you could sit in a straight back chair that doesn't have any arms so that you'll be able to move your arms freely. Put your feet flat on the floor. All right now, we're gonna start breathing evenly and slowly, keeping our stomach soft. Let your eyes close for just a moment. Go on, I'll talk you through it. Leave the rest of the world outside and bring your awareness inside. Take a few deep breaths now. In and out. Let your breath carry new sensations all the way to the tips of your fingers and your toes. Imagine there's a beam of light inside your spine. Send it way down into the earth and let it fly out the top of your head up into the sky. Feel the top of your ears reach up like a little fairy elf. Take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way out. Now begin to let your eyes open ever so slowly. And as you do, look around you as though you were seeing the world for the very first time. Okay, now we're going to start some big time breathing. Stretch your arms out to the side, palms facing forward, little fingers touching the floor. Inhale slowly through your nose, raising your arms way up to the ceiling till your palms lightly touch. Then exhale audibly through your mouth, letting your arms down slowly, fingertips flexed back towards you. Inhale again, slowly filling your lungs all the way up, and wiggle around up there a little bit, and now exhale, keeping your spine nice and tall, mushing your abdomen in, get rid of all that old used up breath, and any little bit of a bad mood you might have waked up with. It's truly a miracle. It's the very first thing we do when we're born, the very last thing we do before we leave this earth. Our breath is about as close to the source of life as we can get. Each breath we take throughout the day is an opportunity to renew and relax, to literally inspire Inhale the arms up, stretch up as tall as you can, and exhale all the way out. Take a full breath in, and that's great.
Hmm. Now, place your left palm on the floor beside you. Or if you're in a chair, just put your hand on the seat beside you. Inhale, floating your right arm up, lift up and exhale over to your left, resting on your left forearm. Try to keep that right hip down on the floor. Now let's take a few deep breaths here. If you can't quite make it all the way over yet, straighten your left arm a little. Don't collapse on all that fat that's collecting on your downside. Make room with the breath as you inhale and lengthen through your fingertips as you exhale. down however your neck feels most comfortable. Now roll your right shoulder forward and down toward the opposite knee. Neck relax and stretch across the whole kidney area. Keep breathing smooth and deep. Now roll your shoulder back. Try to open your chest up toward the ceiling. Take a full breath in. Exhale all the way out and in. Can you feel the difference between the two sides? Me too. Let's go to the other side now to balance ourselves out. Put your right palm on the floor and inhale, floating your left arm up toward the ceiling and exhale, arching up and over to your right, sliding down onto your right forearm as far as is comfortable. Again, let's, let's breathe. This can give you a tiny little waist. Hmm. Left hip down. Neck relax. Hmm. Now roll your left shoulder forward and down. Open the kidney area. Still breathing. This one has helped me so much with female cramps. And inhale to come up. Exhale, letting your left arm float down. Hmm. Now. Let's stretch the chest. This one expands the lungs, and frankly, it lightens my heart. Plant your fingertips behind you. Keep your bottom touching the floor and gently squeeze your shoulder blades together. Pressing your chest forward, lifting it up toward the ceiling, and relaxing your head toward your chest. Let's take a few deep breaths here. And if it feels all right on your neck, you can let your head drop all the way back stretch in your throat. Imagine you can actually breathe through your heart. Some days I can do this easily. Some days my old whiplash injuries kick in and I just have to back off. Mm, still breathing. You know, besides lightening my spirits, I do believe this also counteracts my personal inclination to have more than one chin. Exhale all the way out and inhale, coming back to center. Hmm. Good. Now let's stretch that old spine. Plant your fingertips this time on the floor right in front of you. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, slide your hands as far forward as you can without straining, looking down toward the floor so the back of your neck feels real long. Don't bother looking up now. Just hold here for some slow, deep breaths. 
As you inhale, feel your torso expand like a balloon. Let your spine grow a little longer with each exhale, creeping your fingers forward a bit more, if that feels good. It may not seem like we're doing an awful lot here, but let me tell you, we're opening up the hip joints, releasing back tension, and stretching out the spinal column, all for the good of our health and longevity. Now here's my version of something the yogis call lion. My husband advised me never to do this in public because it is not very pretty. But since it's just you and me, I want to show it to you. Because I found it such a great morale booster. So, here goes. Bring your palms face down on your knees. Spread your fingers wide apart. Elbows straight. Spine tall. Now, you're going to take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, you're going to stretch your tongue out like, like you're trying to touch your chin, and look straight up toward the ceiling, like that. And while you're doing this, you're going to let out a long ah, like this. Watch that. Ah! Like that. For just as long as your breath will last. Now, if the baby's sleeping, or if for some reason you can't make a loud noise, then just do a fierce whisper, <sighs> like that. And if you run out of breath before I stop roaring, well then, just catch your breath and, and do another one with me. Okay, ready? <laughs> okay, let's try it together. And don't be shy now. Remember, it's called lion. <laughs> okay, here it goes. Deep breath in. I mean, don't you just feel like the Lord of the Jungle now? I bet you're going to be looking forward to doing this again tomorrow. Okay. Now let's uncross our legs. If you've still got any feeling in them, get the blood moving again. If you've been sitting in a chair, it's safe to come down to the floor now. If you've got socks on, take them off. Put your feet on the floor, get hold of your knees, and gently rock back and forth, inhaling as you go back, exhaling as you go forward, rounding your back as much as possible, like this. The idea is to touch every vertebra to the floor in a nice long massage. so you don't flatten out and go bump. <sighs> nice and easy. Should feel good. This is the kind of rocking that'll keep us out of that old rocking chair. <laughs> Inhale back. Exhale forward. Now one last. next one helps release tension from the neck and shoulders again. It increases our flexibility and the range of motion in the spine. Okay, 
Come up onto your hands and knees. Knees hip distance apart. Hands under your shoulders. Tops of your feet on the floor. Inhale, look up. Drop your stomach and arch your back. As you exhale, tuck your tailbone under first. Chin to your chest. Round your spine, way up toward the ceiling like a cat. Again, inhale. Feel this stretch from your throat through your chest all the way down to your lower stomach. Exhale, round in the spine, way. Mm. In. underneath you. Spread your fingers wide apart. Don't break your neck trying to look at the screen while you're doing this. Just let me talk you through it. Okay. Take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, let your hips float all the way up so you're on your toes in an upside down V shape. Keep your knees bent to begin with if that feels better. Keep breathing. Look back towards your thighs. Try to push the floor away from you with your hands, lifting your tailbone way up toward the ceiling, and gently press your chest towards your thighs. And breathe. If you can, gently straighten your knees, staying lifted on your toes. If you can't do that yet, keep your knees bent for now. That's okay. It'll come. Take a full breath in, exhale, all the way out and let yourself slowly back down to your knees. Hmm. It's not as easy as it looks, is it? <laughs> all right, let's catch your breath. Go again. This is a little variation. Curl your toes underneath you. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, float your hips up again. Now gently lower one heel to the floor. Bend the other knee. Good. And breathe. Now change. Put the other heel down. Bend the knee opposite knee. Now, keeping your feet at least hip distance apart, try to let both heels down at the same time. Knees bent if you need to, and always breathing smooth and deep. Push the floor away from you with your hands. Lift your tailbone toward the ceiling. Do you know that stretching the back of your legs can help you sleep better? Well, that's the truth. Take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way out. Slowly walk your hands back toward your feet. 
You bend your knees if you need to. Till your feet are flat on the floor. Your upper body is just dangling forward like a rag doll. Keep your knees soft and relaxed. Cross your arms. Holding opposite elbows. Let's just breathe here. Imagine your head hanging loose and heavy like a bowling ball on the end of your spine, stretching the whole spinal column, making space between the vertebrae. Let your cheeks and jaw soften, your arms, shoulders, upper back release, feeling all the tension drain out with each exhalation. Now drop your arms, bend your knees a little bit more, and let's slowly, slowly roll up. To a standing position, letting your arms and your head stay real heavy. Don't forget to keep breathing. <sighs> This is one of the tightest places in my back, so I always take a few breaths here. You'll find the places where you like to hang out. As it were. Now that we've loosened up a little, <laughs> I want to show you a series of movements that will do the following. Stretch and tone all the major muscle groups in your body. Improve your circulation, strength, flexibility, and bring your whole body to life. Now, this is probably the most difficult part of the routine, so just watch it through a couple of times before you join in. It's harder than it looks. Don't you get discouraged if you can't just glide right through it the first few times. I still cannot do it like my friend Yogini Wendy, but it is so good for you. It is so beneficial. Let's have a go at it, okay? Now just keep listening to your breath, relax, and we will all do the best we can. Oh, one more thing. It's okay if you enjoy it. <laughs> all right? Here we go. Stand, feet together, arms down by your sides. Feel the floor with your feet, pelvis slightly tipped under. Get firmly grounded. Lengthen the tips of your ears, the top of your head, up toward the sky. Inhale, floating your arms out and up until your palms lightly touch. Exhale. Folding forward, bending your knees slightly if you need to. Touch the floor beside your feet, nose towards your shins. Pause here for a couple of deep breaths. Now step your right leg way back into a lunge position. Front knee directly over your ankle. And let's breathe here. Front knee and back heel stretching away from each other. In. Exhale all the way out and step your left leg back to meet your right. Feet together, tailbone tilting slightly under, taking the curve out of your lower back, feeling it work on your tummy, breathing smooth and deep. Sit back onto your heels and inhale, sliding all the way forward, exhaling all the way out. Now, pressing your palms into the floor, inhale, lifting your chest up just a little way. 
And exhale your chest back down to the floor. Inhale again, lifting just a little higher this time. And exhale down again. Once more, inhale, lifting up just as high as you can without straining your lower back. This time, as you exhale, curl your toes underneath you and get ready to press your bottom up again. There we go. Let's breathe here. Full breath in, and tailbone lifting. <clears throat> Exhale all the way out, and looking up and forward, get ready to step your right foot forward between your hands. Front knee reaching forward, back heel reaching back, breathing smooth and deep. Now put all your weight on your right leg, straighten it, and step your left foot up to meet your right. Inhale, looking up, lifting your chest away from your thighs, and exhale, folding forward. Nose towards your shins, hands on the floor beside you, knees bent if necessary, of course. Let's breathe here now. Inhale, exhale. Legs strong, inhale, coming up, arms lifting out and up until your palms touch up over your head again. And exhale, floating your arms down by your side. Now let's take a full breath in and out. And get ready to do the other side. Inhale, bringing your arms up overhead to your palms. Touch lightly and exhale, folding forward, bending your knees slightly, of course, if you need to. Touch the floor beside your feet, nose towards your shins. Breathe deeply. Now step your left leg way back into a lunge position, front knee directly over your ankle, and breathe here. Front knee, back heel, stretching away from each other. It's not easy at first, but it's real good for the thighs. Breathing in. Exhaling all the way out. Step your right leg back to meet your left leg. Feet together, tailbone tilting slightly under. My right shoulder is kind of weird, so this is not the very most comfortable position for me, but it's really great for the tummy tum tum. Keep breathing smooth and deep. Now exhale slowly down onto your knees and back into a sitting position. Inhale. Sliding all the way forward, and exhale all the way out. Now pressing your palms on the floor, lift your chest up just a little as you inhale, and exhale down again. Inhale, pressing up a little higher this time, and exhale your chest down to the floor again. Last time, inhale as far up as you can go comfortably without straining your back. And as you exhale, curl your toes under and bottoms up again. Let's breathe here. Tailbone lifting. Chest toward thigh. a moment and step forward with your left foot. Don't forget to look up before you do. Okay, inhale. 
Exhale all the way out and left foot forward between your hands. Front knee reaching forward, back heel reaching back. Breathe in, smooth and deep. I don't know about you, but if I forget to lift my head up, my foot will not come forward. Inhale, exhale. All right, now put all your weight on your left leg as you straighten it and step your right foot up to meet it. Inhale, raise your chest, looking up. And exhale, fold it all the way down against your thighs. Eventually, you'll be able to do it all the way, chest to thighs. Inhale, exhale, breathing deeply. Now make your legs real strong. And inhale, arms sweeping out to the side, lifting all the way up until they touch again, very lightly. Let's put all those pieces together, flowing right with the breath. If you're worn out, you can take a little break, but just keep breathing with me, and eventually you'll be able to keep going. <sighs> Deep breath in, arms floating up till your palms touch, and breathing out, bending forward, hands down beside your feet on the floor. Inhale, right leg way back. Exhale, left leg back to join it. Bend down to your knees and sit back on your heels. And breathe here if you need to. Get ready now to inhale and slide forward. And exhale as your body comes to rest face down by your shoulders. Inhale, lifting your chest and your face up just a little. And exhale back to the floor. Inhale once again, arching your back just a little more, looking up. And exhale down again. Now inhale up as far as you can go without hurting your lower back. Curling your toes under, getting ready to exhale, bottoms up again. Shift your hands and your feet a little if you need to to stabilize yourself in this position. Breathe one good time here. Breathe all the way out and look up, look up, then step your right foot forward between your hands. Inhale, exhale, bringing your left foot up to meet your right. Bring your fingertips to the floor in front of you now and inhale, lifting your chest away from your legs, facing up just a little. And as you exhale, fold the top of your body all the way against your legs. You can help with your hands if that feels good. Now inhale, all the way up again, palms touching in the sky and arms floating down to your sides as you exhale. Breath in and out now in this position. Be proud of yourself if you're still with me by this time. And once again for the other side. Here we go. Inhale your arms up overhead till your palms lightly touch. Exhale, folding forward, bending your knees slightly if you need to. Touch the floor beside your feet. Inhale, left leg way back. Exhale, right leg back to join it. Down to your knees, sit back on your heels. Inhale, sliding your body all the way forward on the floor like a snake. And exhale, face down. Palms by your shoulders. Inhale, slightly lifting your chest. And exhale down. Graceful and pretty. Inhale, arching your back a little 
little higher and exhale down. Last time, inhale all the way up as far as you can, curling your toes under. Getting ready to exhale, bottoms up again. Take a free breath here. Breathe all the way out and look up, look up first, then step your left foot forward between your hands, inhale, and exhale, your right foot coming up to meet your left. Now, inhale, lifting your chest up and looking forward a little bit, and exhale. Folding your body all the way forward. One of these days you better fold and unfold like a morning glory. Arms out to the side. Inhale all the way up until those palms touch in the sky. Keep them together and exhale down slowly. Let's just be still for a moment. Listen to our breath. These next two postures stretch, tone, and firm the arms and legs. Step your legs wide apart, feet parallel, both hip bones facing forward. Turn your right foot 90 degrees to the right and your left foot slightly pigeon-toed. Inhale, arms straight out to the side and exhale, bringing your right hand down to hold your right shin or ankle. Keep breathing. Look down, try to bring your chest in line with your right leg. Press your left hip out to the left. Now reach your left arm up to the ceiling, and if it doesn't strain your neck, look up toward your beautiful fingertips. Let your eyes rest on one point for balance. Good. Keep breathing. Take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way out. And inhale, coming back up to center. Great. Now, let's keep our arms up. Do the other side. Turn your left foot 90 degrees to the left. Right foot slightly pigeon-toed. Hip bones facing forward. Inhale and exhale. Left hand to the left shin or ankle and breathe here. Look down. Focus for balance. Try to bring your chest in line with your left leg. Press the right hip out to the right. Reach your right hand up to the sky and look up if you can. Feel both thighs drawing upward. Good-o. Now take a deep breath in. Exhale all the way out. Strengthen your legs. And inhale coming up to center. Keep those arms up if you can. Okay, here comes the second one. Turn your right foot. 90 degrees to the right. Left foot slightly pigeon-toed. Inhale and exhale, bending your right knee till it's directly over your right ankle. Ideally, your right thigh will be parallel to the floor. <laughs> Keep your eyes steady on one point out over your right hand and breathe for dear life. Remember, we try to think of this feeling in our thighs and arms as sensation which we will grow to welcome like an old friend once we accustom ourselves to it. Take a full breath in, exhale, sink a little deeper and inhale, coming up to center. Arms still out, arms still out. Hold on, let's do the other side. Left foot 90 degrees to the left, right foot slightly pigeon-toed, Hips facing forward, and inhale and exhale, bending your left knee until your thigh is parallel to the floor. Don't look at mine, don't look at mine. Knee directly over your ankle. Gaze out over your left hand, eyes resting steady on a point. I find 
and it helps to cross my eyes as I enjoy a few deep breaths here. Mm. Now take a deep breath in. Exhale, sinking a little deeper into that bent knee. And inhale, coming up as you slowly, slowly lower your arms. Wasn't that sensational? Isn't it amazing what you can do standing still and taking a few simple breaths? <clears throat> You're doing great. You'll be glad to know it's pretty much downhill from here. With your feet still wide apart, place your hands on your hips. Inhale, looking up, lift your heart up to heaven. Breathe out, folding forward. Reach down and touch the floor. Bending your knees if you need to. Inhale, lifting your chest. And exhale, extending all the way from your tailbone, reaching the top of your head toward the floor. And let's breathe here. Shift your weight slightly forward toward the balls of your feet. With each exhalation, feel the backs of your legs and the whole spinal column lengthen. Remember, when you come up, you're going to have the rosy glow of a 16-year-old. Well, maybe a 17-year-old. Now take a last breath in. Breathe all the way out. And as you inhale, bend your knees slightly, tuck in your pelvis under and curl yourself up slightly. Now, before we go down to the floor, let's just take a moment to really feel what we've just done. Bring your feet hip distance apart, arms down by your sides. Now, let your eyes rest on a point and let your body become absolutely still. Let go control of your breath. Enjoy its natural rhythm. Become aware of your feet planted firmly on earth, head reaching for the clouds. heavenly. Now we're ready to come back down to earth. Tell me something. When you're in the department store, do you avoid the swimming suit section like the plague? Is it just about as scary as a Stephen King movie? Well, all right then. Let's get down here on this floor, put out a little towel for our faces, and do something about those thighs and tushies. On your stomach first. Place your arms underneath you, palms down on the floor like this. Elbows as close together as you can get them. Chin on the floor. If this feels weird, you're probably doing it right. If your elbows feel like they're just going to snap off, you can move them a little bit farther apart. But I promise with practice, those elbows are going to start to limber up. Okay, here we go. Raise your right leg up. 45 degrees, keeping the knee straight and the left leg flat on the floor. I know it's a little tricky in this position, but do the best you can to keep your breath flowing. Lengthen your leg all the way through your toes. Now, slowly and with control, lower that Now, raise your left leg up about 45 degrees. Knee straight, right leg flat on the floor. 
feel your leg growing longer and stronger. Try to keep your breath smooth and steady. Bring it up just a little higher if you can. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, raise both legs together. Breathe as evenly as you can, pressing down against the floor with your hands. Listen, happy thighs. Remember, Confucius said, "When you have faults, do not fear to abandon them." A little higher, and then slowly, with control, let them down and do not flop. Turn your head to one side and liberate those arms. Is your heart pounding like you just ran around the block? Well, then just relax here for a moment. Visualize that new bikini bottom. Now, here's the second one. Palms facing up this time. Press the back of your hands into the floor and inhale, lifting everything else into the air. Look down, keeping the back of your neck long and relaxed. Squeeze your heels and inner thighs together. Breathe the best you can. Your head on the other side. <sighs> okay, now bring your feet at least hip width apart. Bend your knees and reach back, clasping hold of your ankles. Loosen up your shoulders. Inhale, lift both legs up toward the ceiling, and hold here for a few deep breaths. Neck relaxed. Try to breathe evenly. No grunting or groaning. Chest opening. Let your legs do the lifting. Your arms are just going along for the ride. Feel those thighs coming alive. Oh no, no, no! Kidding, no kidding. It feels really good to me. One last breath in and out, and gently let your whole body relax down completely. You've earned it. Now let's stretch back up the opposite way. Press back to sit on your heels, chest on your thighs. Forward toward the floor, arms by your sides. As you inhale, feel your torso expand all the way across, and release those back muscles we were just using. Feel your spine lengthen from your tailbone way up through the top of your head with each breath. This is such a comforting and restful position. No wonder the yogis called it child's pose. Bring your arms forward if that feels good. Knees can slide apart. And sit back up on your heels. Sometimes I like to do that one here and there during the day because it feels so good for my lower back. Now, 
These next stretches are really wonderful for lower back tension. Let me tell you, if I forget to do them before I go to work in high heels all day, I am so sorry. Lie down on your back. Interlace your hands around your right knee and draw it up towards your chest. If you're very flexible, you can place the knee in the crook of your right elbow. Lengthen the back of your neck on the floor and let's breathe here. Now interlace your hands around your left knee and draw it gently towards your chest. Or, as I said before, you can place it in the crook of your arm. Lengthen the back of your neck along the floor. Let's breathe some more. Feeling the smile of your back lengthening. And release, stretching your left leg back onto the floor. Now, let's take both legs together. Wrap your arms around your legs. Holding opposite elbows, if possible. And breathing smoothly. What I call this last movement is the final spinal. I think you're going to love it. Raise your left knee towards your chest and hold it with your opposite hand. Stretch your left arm way out to the side, palm down on the floor. Then bring your left knee all the way across your body as close to the floor as you can go, looking back over your left shoulder. Massage the tight places inside with your breath. Take a deep breath in, exhale, all the way up, and gently roll back to where you started. Mm. 
Well, that's wonderful, isn't it? Okay, let's do the other side. Raise your right knee toward your chest and hold it with your opposite hand. Stretch your right arm out onto the floor, palm down. And bring your right knee across your body as far as you can, looking back over your right shoulder. Both arms out to the side and breathe. As you inhale, feel your rib cage expand. And as you exhale, keep rolling your shoulder down flat, letting your chest open. Relaxing your bent knee closer and closer toward the My sacroiliac is saying, thank you, Dixie, thank you. All right, this next breathing exercise is a purification technique, which cleanses the entire body by helping to eliminate the poisonous carbon dioxides which our bodies continuously produce. So come into a comfortable cross-legged position, or you could sit in a chair like you did in the beginning. Place your hands on your knees and let your spine get tall. Relax your abdomen and exhale sharply through your nose, like that, contracting the abdomen back towards your spine. The inhalation is completely passive. It's effortless. Just concentrate on the bursts of air going out, like that. Nature will take care of the air coming in. So it, look, it looks like this. Mouth closed. May take a little getting used to, but I think you're going to be glad if you stick with it. I love it. Makes me feel centered and just a, a little bit powerful. <clears throat> okay, let's try two rounds of 60 breaths. I'll try to count them for you, okay? Ready? Here we go. Relax your tummy. Here we go. Spine tall. Shoulders soft. I think that was 60. Okay. Let's have another round. Here we go. Pitiful, Dixie. That was only 50 breaths. Please count better this time. Now, before we leave each other, let's sit here very still and quiet for a few moments, or longer, if you have the time. I believe that to be completely alive, we need to encourage that within us which is divine, which guides us to compassion, understanding, and peace of mind. So let's close our eyes now and open up our hearts. And let our minds dwell on something that makes us feel happy and at peace. I like to think about the trees around our dear old house in Tennessee. How the light filters through the leaves, dapples the grass. Sometimes I like to Remember my daughter's warm, drowsy heads nestled against me when they were 
just little girls. As time goes by, you will enjoy creating your own meditations. Since I was brought up in the Methodist church, I call it praying rather than meditating. But you'll do whatever makes you feel best, whatever nourishes your soul. I surely did enjoy our time together. I hope the rest of your day goes right on up from here. I'll see you tomorrow, or surely the next day. Till then, follow your heart. Thank you.